Disclaimer, the author does not claim ownership of the documents, images, audio, music, video and other materials used in this lesson. They remain the property of the original creators, who are mentioned in the acknowledgement section of this lesson. The said materials are used for educational purposes only. Thank you very much. Installing and configuring computer systems, MELCS, LO1, Assemble Computer Hardware, Codes, TLE underscore IACSS 9-12 ICCS IAE 28. Lesson 2, Computer Hardware Disassembly and Assembly. Content Standard, the learners demonstrate an understanding of concepts and principles in installing and configuring computer systems. Performance Standard, the learners shall be able to install and configure computer systems based on established procedures and system requirements. Lesson 2, Computer Hardware Disassembly and Assembly. Objectives, at the end of the lesson 80% of the students will be able to point out and demonstrate how to assemble parts of the computer system using IT Essentials Virtual Desktop by Cisco. Welcome to IT Essentials Virtual Desktop. Our virtual desktop enables you to learn the steps required to assemble a desktop computer, explore the components, and test your knowledge. How to assemble desktop PC using Cisco IT Essentials Virtual Desktop, Step 1. Connect the power supply. A power supply provides the needed voltage to power the various electronic circuits that make up the PC. Install power supply, number 1. Move the power supply to the case. Number 2. Align the holes in the power supply with the holes in the case. Number 3. Secure the power supply to the case using the proper screws. Step 2. Install CPU and heat sink. Number 1. Retrieve the CPU from the anti-static mat. Number 2. Rotate the CPU so the connection 1 indicator is lined up with pin 1 on the CPU socket. Number 3. Align the orientation notches on the CPU to the orientation keys on the socket. Number 4. Place the CPU gently into the socket. Number 5. Close the CPU load plate and secure it in place by closing the load lever and moving it under the load lever retention tab. Number 6. Apply a small amount of thermal compound to the CPU chip and spread it evenly. Number 7. Line up the heat sink assembly retainers to the holes on the motherboard. Number 8. Place the heat sink assembly onto the CPU socket being careful not to pinch the CPU fan wires. Number 9. Tighten the heat sink assembly retainers to secure it in place. Number 10. Plug the heat sink into the motherboard. Step 3. Install memory or RAM modules. Number 1. Retrieve one RAM module from the anti-static mat. Number 2. Align the latch notches on the RAM module to the notches in the slot and press down till the side tabs click. Number 3. Make sure that the side tabs have locked the RAM module and visually check for exposed contacts. Step 4. Install motherboard, number 1. Slowly move the motherboard into the case while you align the holes for the screws and the standoffs, number 2. Attach the motherboard to the case using the appropriate screws. Step 5. Install the adapter cards or ads on cards, number 1. Install NIC card, a network interface card. NIC card is an adapter card used to connect your computer to a network. Move the NIC card to the case. Align the NIC card to the PCIe X1 slot on the motherboard. Press down gently on the NIC card until the card is fully seated. Secure the NIC card by attaching the PC mounting bracket to the case with a screw. Number 2. Install wireless NIC. A wireless NIC is an adapter card used to connect your computer to another computer or a wireless access point using radio signals. Move the wireless NIC to the case. 
Align the wireless NIC to the PCI slot on the motherboard. Press down gently on the wireless NIC until the card is fully seated. Secure the wireless NIC by attaching the PC mounting bracket to the case with a screw. Number 3. Install video card. A video card is an adapter card that sends data to a computer display. Move the video card to the case. Align the video adapter to the AGP slot on the motherboard. Press down gently on the video card until the card is fully seated. Secure the video card by attaching the PC mounting bracket to the case with a screw. Step 6. Install internal drives, install the HDD into the case. The hard disk drive, HDD, is a magnetic drive that stores large amounts of data on fixed media. Move the HDD to the case. Position the HDD so it aligns with the 3.5 drive bay. Insert the HDD into the drive bay. Secure the HDD to the case using the proper screws. Step 6. Install external drives. The CD-ROM, DVD-ROM, or optical disk drive is an optical storage device that reads and writes information to CDs and reads DVDs. Number 1. Install optical disk drive. Move the optical drive to the case. Position the optical drive so it aligns with the 5.25 drive bay. Insert the optical drive into the drive bay. Secure the optical drive to the case using the proper screws. Number 2. Install floppy disk drive. A floppy disk drive, FDD, is a magnetic drive that reads and writes information to floppy diskettes. Move the FDD to the case. Position the FDD so it aligns with the 3.5 drive bay. Insert the FDD into the drive bay. Secure the FDD to the case using the proper screws. Step 7. Install internal cables. Connect all internal cables to the appropriate computer components. Connect the cables to the devices. IDE or PATA cable, floppy cable, and SATA cable. Number 1. Align and plug in the PATA or IDE cable to the motherboard socket. Align and plug in the other end of the PATA data cable to the optical drive. Number 2. Align and plug in the floppy data cable to the motherboard socket. Align and plug in the other end of the floppy data cable to floppy drive. Number 3. Align and plug in the SATA cable to the motherboard socket. Align and plug in the other end of the SATA data cable to the hard drive. Step 8. Connect the power supply. Number 1. Align the 20-pin ATX power supply cable to the socket on the motherboard and gently press down to secure the connection. Number 2. Align the 4-pin auxiliary power connector to the auxiliary power socket on the motherboard and gently press down to secure the connection. Number 3. Plug in a SATA power supply cable to the hard drive. Number 4. Plug in a Molex power supply cable to the optical drive. Number 5. Plug in a Berg power supply cable to the floppy drive. Number 6. Align the 3-pin case fan power cable and gently press down to secure the case fan pins on the motherboard. Step 9. 
Cover the tower by placing it and pressing towards front side and screw it to complete the computer assembly. Attach the panels and secure them to the case using the panel screws. Step 10. Connect external devices. Number 1. Align and attach the VGA cable to the video port on the video adapter. Secure it by tightening the screws on the connector. Number 2. Align and plug in the keyboard cable to the PS2 port. Number 3. Align and plug in the mouse cable to the PS2 port. Number 4. Align and plug in the USB cable to the USB port. Number 5. Align and plug in the LAN cable to the LAN port. Number 6. Align and plug in the wireless antenna to the PCI wireless antenna port. Number 6. Align and plug in the power cord to the PSU power port. Congratulations for doing a great job. You have completed installing the virtual desktop. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell icon. And also don't forget to like, comment and share. See you next time. Keep safe and God bless.